I am testing out a new mascara today. This one had me very intrigued because in the PR package, I actually ended up buying one because I gave one to my friend. You guys will see everything in this video, but I just wanted to say that in the PR, and I'll put the picture up right here, it did say that it was inspired by their Mexican consumers, which really got me thinking because when I did my review on Glossier's Lash Slick, I noticed that a really huge concern for a lot of people were that if they had really stick straight lashes, this one might be your solution. So let's just go ahead and get started with this video, but um... Yeah, it's kind of like in a vertical format, so I hope you guys are good. Okay, so I just got in this new mascara by MAC, and I was super curious about this guy. I have my friend Liz here because she has very straight lashes. This is like her first time learning about this, so I'm going to tell yeah. you. I, and it said in the little like PR packet, it said that it was inspired by our Mexican consumers. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, immediately Liz came to my <laughs> mind because she swears. If you guys have ever tried this Mexican mascara, is it Mexican? Yeah. It's a pink tube and I, well, I just know a lot of Mexican girls yeah. use it. They have different ones, but it's the little one with the apple, you know? Yes. Or there's different versions. Not all of them have the apple, but it's like certain ingredient that it contains. I don't know why, but it just really works for me. The brush yeah. is horrible. And everybody that uses it has really straight lashes and they're like, nothing else works. This is like, it maintains my curl, da 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 da. So this is exactly what it's promising. Oh. Maintaining curls, it's for like very stick straight, downward lashes. And so I want her to try it because I, mine are curly and long and whatever. They Clearly stay. I was not blessed. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay. Give it a go. So she's going to try I'm it out. I'm now. After you said that, I'm like, yeah. it's not going to work on me. <laughs> well, we'll see. Okay. So wait, I usually curl my eyelashes. Can I or should I not? We'll do one eye without it because it is promising curl as okay. well. And she's just going to be as brutally honest because <clears throat> she's real hardcore on mascaras. <laughs> so we'll see so just, what it does. Yeah, go for it. I'm oh my God. This out. is my Please. mirror? Yeah. <laughs> my eye is red also because of my contact. How is the brush? The brush is good. Yeah. Much better than the one I use. Okay, it lifted. It's lifting, but like still straight. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Can I try it with curl? Yeah, try the other eye. Show them first this one. So, that so it did lift a little, but seriously, my eyelashes are ridiculously straight. So... I'm used to having an actual curl. curl. Yeah, so I'm gonna give her the lash because that's what you would Sorry. do with any <laughs> mascara, anyways. Yeah. And then we'll see. Okay, I think. Oh, yeah, totally different with the curl, right? Yeah, 100%. I'm gonna have one big eye and one little eye. Wow. Yeah, totally. Oh my, my god. It really, that Mexican one is how much? It's like very inexpensive. Oh, I don't know super how much. Inexpensive. Yeah, I don't know how much that one is, so I would expect the like everything to be better on it. Yeah. Cuz I'm sure the the price oh, yeah. is higher. It's only like $5 or something. Yeah. But I, always see, like, I mean, I <laughs> Yeah, I've tried other brands. Sometimes I curl my eyelash and then I'll put a mascara and it makes them go straight again. So Dude, it looks really good. Yeah, I like it. Curled Wow. Okay, so she went ahead and did her like normal mascara routine. So that first little shot was just one one or two coats or so. Yeah, just like lightly. Lightly, and then you went in for a little bit more. Just one more time. So this is still not curl. That's why my eyes look awful. But not curl, just mascara, and then this is and it's slightly such a curled. Yeah. And what did you say? You're like, if it passes the test or what was oh, it? Oh yeah, <laughs> I always test it out. If I curl my eyelashes and they stay up, then it passed the test because my eyelashes always, it'll look like this, even yeah. if I curled them before, so. So, so far so good. So she'll continue to test it, let us know. Yes. But I thought that was like really, like a cool way to show you guys on somebody. Cause if I were to put it on, it's like, I didn't curl them or anything. And she you has beautiful see. lashes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and then also another thing that I wanted to quickly note was the ingredient. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so she's like, wait, let me see the ingredient box because I know the ingredient in like the mascara that she usually mm -hmm. uses is Mame and Homies. <laughs> it has Mame. I was like, oh no, it doesn't have it and Amy's 
spotted it. She's like, like, um, yes, it's <laughs> Aceite de Mame. So, yeah, they That's are using why. the same ingredients. So, at least guys, some of them, yeah. Yeah, if you guys like that mascara but maybe struggle with the wand, maybe this is a better option for you. Mm -hmm. Like, like you. Yeah. Like, Okay, I need right. to cover this eye because it's not working. Like this one is it. <laughs> yes. All right, thanks again, girl. Thank I you. hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a like if you did. I don't know how this is going to work, but you know. You know what Hi. to do. Bye. <laughs> so I sent Liz with the mascara home, and this is the next day, about midday, and she said, girl, I'm feeling the mascara. It's hard to remove, but it looks good. Haha. <laughs> I'll send you a pic tomorrow. And then this is the following day after I bugged her for a photo. Oh my god, I meant to take a selfie for you, haha, <laughs> all conceited, I forgot, but it's good. I think it can clump a little easy, so you probably shouldn't layer too much, but it really lifts the lashes and darkens them. They stand out. It's waterproof, so it's a little harder to come off, but that's fine, I'm actually liking it. I sent you a snap, it's not cute, haha, <laughs> but for you to see, thank you so much for sending this and doing this for me and reporting for me, Liz. The internet loves you. I love you. As far as removal, I would recommend something like an oil or one of those cleansing bombs. Pharmacy makes a great one just so that you're not hurting your lashes since it is a little bit more difficult to wash off. I hope you guys enjoyed me testing it on somebody that actually had straight lashes. I really hope you found this useful. Sorry for this little like impromptu format, but I just wanted to kind of put something up for you guys and test it out ASAP. So me as a person with like pretty long curly lashes, I can get away with a lot of mascaras. It's not the hugest concern for me. I definitely like what I like and I can tell when a mascara is better and I like it to really accentuate my lashes. It is a bit tougher to remove, but like I said, with the oil or one of those like pharmacy things, MAC makes one specifically and it comes in the packaging with it, which is nice. That way you're not hurting your lashes. You really should use something like that um, to wipe it off, not just like a regular cleanser. I think it was really cool of them to mention where the inspiration came from since they are using the same ingredient as that Mexican mascara, but they definitely elevated it, which I would hope they would because like I said, that Mexican mascara is super affordable and this one did retail. I mean, I bought this for, I believe it was 24. So it is on the pricier side for a mascara for sure. But if you're one of those people where you're like, nothing holds my curl, you know, I just, my lashes are super straight. It always falls down, da 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 um, I would say, I would definitely recommend it. And so would my friend Liz. <laughs> I know I usually don't do these kind of like one product reviews unless they're like Glossier because, you know, you guys know me for Glossier and you guys love those kind of videos. Whenever I come across a really cool product, then I like to do a review on it. So let me know if there's anything else that you see that's super innovative and different, not just another freaking bronzy eyeshadow palette, but something super innovative and cool, whether it be in skincare or makeup. Leave it below and I would be happy to try it or if you want me to try this versus that, like I did the Milk Kush Mascara versus Glossier Boy Brow, let me know and happy to test that out for you. I like to have like a reason to test things out, not just like show you to show you. You know what I mean? Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Dude, look at these lashes, though, for real. I'm about to fly away, y'all. <laughs> Bye.